Millions of Americans are expected to travel this Memorial Day weekend and a seemingly normal holiday even as COVID cases are in some places rising again. Here to answer your questions is Dr. Todd Ellerin, Chief of Infectious Diseases at South Shore Health. Dr. Ellerin, thank you so much for being here with us. Good to see you guys. Likewise, many people are moving on from the pandemic, but hospitals are still having concerns, including here in Massachusetts, is that right? That's right, Nathalie. Despite the fact that our hospitals are not being overrun with COVID right now, in fact, it's quite manageable. The bottom line is we are seeing significant volumes, our system and many other systems across the state. So we just urge patients um, before running to the emergency department to potentially check with your primary care provider or urgent care clinics. Uh, and I'm not talking about, of course, for the emergencies, but if you're sort of not sure exactly how to proceed. Uh, doctor, um, good to see you. Thanks for being here. This week, the state made a pretty significant change to its COVID guidance. So children who are close contacts but remain asymptomatic, and correct me if I'm wrong here, will no longer have to quarantine to remain in class or in child care. So that includes unvaccinated kids. What's the thinking here? That's that's right, Maria. There's really been a change in the pandemic. Right now, we are really uncoupling cases with hospitalizations and deaths. So it's much milder. And as you know, kids have the mildest uh, illness and, and fare the best with COVID compared to adults. So what we're seeing here is the change is that if you are a close contact, that you can still come to K through 12. You can still go to daycare or recreational camps. Ideally, you're still encouraged to mask for 10 days when you're not eating, drinking, or sleeping, but you don't have to. And there's still recommendations on testing on day two and day five if you're a close contact. But again, if you can't test, if you don't have access, you can still come in. I think we're prioritizing the importance of schools. Having kids in school is the most important thing right now, especially given that, frankly, we're in a much better place than we were a year or two years ago. Good. Right, yes. Dr. Ellerin, do you think that at some point this guidance that you just uh, spoke about there will apply to everyone in Massachusetts? <laughs> Nathalie, more to come on this. There's definitely current deliberations on whether to generalize this to the to, to the state at large. But right now, this is really, we're talking about K through 12 recreational camps and daycares. But more to come on that. 